Greetings and welcome to The Contracting Guy. I am The Contracting Guy and I'm here to answer your questions. I have a veteran who sent in the following email. She said, Hey Contracting Guy, my name is Debbie and I'm from Wichita Falls, Texas and I have a question. Can you give me advice on where to find the most perfect proposal? Well, Debbie, great question. And I'll have an answer for that in just one moment. Well, Debbie from Wichita Falls, Texas, that is an excellent question you ask about the perfect proposal. Unfortunately, it's a much more complex response that I have to give you. You see, the perfect proposal ranks up with the golden ticket from Willy Wonka and Jason and the Argonauts fleece. That becomes a real challenge for you because these are often myth. Uh, the perfect proposal is a mythical construct of perfection that is rife with challenges. Frankly, the perfect proposal is the proposal that wins. All other proposals fall short. So the perfect proposal first is a winning proposal. Now, unfortunately, a winning proposal for the Department of Defense does not mean a winning proposal for the Department of Veterans Affairs or the Department of Transportation. Every proposal, like every meal, should be prepared fresh and hot and tasty. It should be prepared for the, uh, the client, uh, the subject that you're looking to impress. So the prefer perfect proposal is one that focuses on the, the uh, end reader. That's important. Uh, the second aspect of a perfect proposal is that it is aligned with the solicitation. Now, of course, you say, well, what is the perfect format? Well, the perfect format mirrors the solicitation. And it is spiced with elements of the uh, evaluation factors. So you have all these pieces that fit in. So the perfect proposal, while elusive, does not mean it's not attainable. It's just elusive. But you have to know the customer, who it's going to, and you also have to know what they're asking for, knowing the solicitation and the requirement. The perfect proposal responds to the solicitation in a way that satisfies or even delights the, the government customer. The perfect proposal, therefore, has no particular format other than it mirrors the solicitation. Now, I talk about that uh, a lot in other things that I have, uh, episodes that I've put out. But the important thing is, and the takeaway is that, A, there's no perfect proposal. However, if you're to describe a perfect proposal, it's a winning proposal. Now, you're not going to find generally a website now, if you do, let me know, please, a website of just winning proposals. Because winning proposals are that, winning, they're not generally shared amongst the acquisition community or any communities for that matter, because it's each organization's secret sauce. It's their way of putting it together, their way of satisfying that customer. But keep in mind, you know, customer A at uh, Huntsville, uh, at uh, uh, Aniston uh, Arsenal is not the same as the one over in uh, Wright-Patterson or the one over in uh, Yuma. So you've got different customers at different locations looking for different things and you would like to say that there's one central way of doing it and while there is a general formatting there's still you're trying to appeal to a particular reader. So, takeaways. There is no perfect proposal. There are formats that you can glean from the solicitation. Follow them. So, mirror the solicitation. Third, 
identify your customer and understand what your customer wants and then reflect that back in the proposal. Part of the mirroring is using the language that they do. So there is no golden fleece, at least not to be found yet. And the Willy Wonka ticket has already been used, so there's no more. So right now, the perfect proposal is elusive, but is attainable. My suggestion to you, uh, Debbie from, right, uh, from Wichita Falls, Texas, just work hard, focus on the needs of the customer, and you'll be good to go. This is the contracting guy. I'm out. Thank you for watching the contracting guy. Please like, subscribe, and share the video. We'd appreciate that. This is the contracting guy. I'm out.